Good morning. Well, um, thank you all for, for being here. So I think everybody knows um, this past weekend was really the start of a busy beach season here in San Diego. And of course, over the next few months, locals and visitors alike will travel across this bridge behind me by the tens of thousands to enjoy Mission Beach, Pacific Beach, SeaWorld, and, and much more. Uh, the West Mission Bay Drive Bridge has been the main thoroughfare in and out of the beach area since the early 1950s. It has served us well, but like much of the infrastructure in San Diego, the time for it to be improved and modernized is long past due. This bridge is supported by timber piles, something you don't want to be driving over, of course, in the event of a major earthquake. In, fa in fact, as I think some of you know, that Caltrans has rated it as fracture critical. So this summer, we are going to start a massive project to completely replace it. Two new bridges will be built in its place with six lanes for cars and protected bike lanes and walkways to make crossing safer for bikeless and pedestrians. And keeping traffic moving, of course, is very important in this main artery. So we are building it in such a way that traffic on the current bridge won't be disrupted throughout the duration of construction. And as part of the project, we will be making improvements to Sports Arena Boulevard, West Mission Bay Drive, and the westbound I-8 off-ramp. So James Nagelvort, who's our Director of Public Works, will explain more about that in just a second. But this is a very visible example of the countless construction projects that are currently underway throughout the city to improve San Diego's roads, our neighborhoods, and our infrastructure. This year's budget, which is before the council as we speak, surpasses half a billion dollars for infrastructure for the very first time, making it the largest infrastructure investment in our city's history. So from paving roads to building new libraries, neighborhoods throughout the city are getting the upgrades that are vital to our quality of life. That includes more than $100 million for city libraries, fire stations, water and wastewater facilities, rec centers, and lifeguard stations. $16.5 million for parks, including expansions and safety improvements. Nearly $11 million for water improvements, like channels, pump stations, and storm drains. $121 million for Pier Water San Diego, which will create an independent drought-proof local water supply. And of course, and enough money to surpass the 1,000 miles of street repairs, putting us well ahead of our goal to schedule that five-year goal to have 1,000 miles of street repairs. So I know my council uh, colleagues certainly share my enthusiasm for infrastructure. Um, person standing right behind me, Council Member Lori Zaff, who's been a champion for this uh, neighborhood investment. Before I introduce Lori, I want to thank all of our, our city crews that you see behind us, our transportation, stormwater, our public works folks. Um, this is going to be a team effort. And the private contractors, I know James is going to talk about in the companies here in just a second. This is a major project. Uh, this project will take several years, uh, but it's going to be such an important game changer uh, for this access and for uh, bridges that will last uh, literally uh, for decades and decades to come. So with that, uh, I'm going to turn it over to Councilwoman Lori Zapp. Councilwoman. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Well, I am so happy to be here to announce one of the biggest uh, transportation projects uh, ever in District 2. Our beach and bay communities, as you know, see millions of visitors every year, and this bridge right here takes the brunt of it. The West Mission Bay Bridge has served our beach and bay community for decades, but it is, in, as you just heard, in dire need of replacement and an upgrade. Residents of my district tell me personally how much of a traffic nightmare this bridge is, and I can tell you from personal experience, they are telling the truth. To put it simply, this $100 million project will fix a traffic nightmare that exists in our city right now. It will shorten commute times, it will give uh, pedestrians and bicyclists a safer path across the bridge, and uh, bring much needed traffic relief. The improvements will also allow our, our lifeguards, our firefighters, our police officers to respond more quickly to emergencies and 911 calls. and. This is terrific. It will improve the habitat right here on the San Diego River, which has been one of my top environmental uh, priorities for many years now. 
This is a 12 acre sensitive habitat and what will happen is invasive plants will be removed, they will be revegetated with native species and so we will have a healthier ecosystem and improved water quality. So I just want to thank the mayor, I want to thank everyone. This is a huge undertaking and it, it was made possible with a huge grant, a hundred million dollar grant in funding from the federal government. So I can't wait to get it started. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. My name is James Megavert, Director of Public Works in your city engineer. And I got to tell you, this is a great day. As a civil engineer, these are the things you live for to do grand projects and that. I want to begin first by thanking uh, our mayor, Mayor Faulkner. This, he has been a champion of infrastructure for the last couple of years. It's his leadership, it's his drive, it's his support, and his, his push on infrastructure that makes projects like this, grand projects, possible. And it's wonderful to see the construction work going on in the city of San Diego. I also want to thank Councilmember Lori Zaff. She's been a, a, a huge leader and a phenomenal friend to public works and infrastructure for the last couple of years. She's helped us streamline our processes, make us more efficient in being able to get the work done and get projects like this on out. Um, as you can imagine, it takes a large team uh, to be able to do a grand project like this. Uh, we want to start by thanking a lot of city staff. On our project management team, I want to thank uh, Akram B B B Basuni, Abby Palazze, Dan Nutter, Jesus Garcia, Heidi Leon, Carrie Purcell, and Rebecca Alvarez. Our consultants, we've got two very important consultants that helped us get to the design phase, T.Y. Lin and Rick Engineering. On our financial teams and that, they, 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 this is an expensive project and complicated grants and, and, and so forth to get paid for. Ben Battaglia, Carrie McGriff and her, and her team. On our construction management state team, on the construction management consultant side, Kleinfelder is going to help us on out. Our city staff, Frank Gaines and, and, and Isaac Viejo. Um, and our contractor. Uh, we have a contractor coming on in, Flatiron, really appreciate their leadership, their work they're going to do, and also they're going to be bringing on a host of subs coming forward to be able to construct and build this and going forward in that. As the mayor mentioned, this bridge is about 70 years old. It is time to replace it. It's not meeting uh, operational needs anymore, um, and it's going to be replaced by a much larger, more beautiful bridge. I'm going to give you a little bit of a flavor at how we're going to build it, and it's something that's really, really important. We're going to build the bridge part of the bridge parallel to the existing bridge you see there. Why that's important is that we're going to maintain traffic. Traffic is going to be going back and forth throughout the construction phase and we're not going to shut down traffic. So essentially we, we end up, the activity you'll see this summer is you'll see on the east side the contractor come in and build a temporary platform. From that platform they're going to start drilling down piles or the columns for the bridge that sits on. Really important, these columns are going to go all the way down the bedrock. The current bridge doesn't do that. When this is done, this bridge is going to be seismically a lot stronger, have a much longer lifespan, and be able to hold up to earthquake activity much better than the current bridge. After they put the columns on in, they'll, they'll finish off one half of the bridge on the east side, put all the lanes in, the bike lanes going forward. That. At that time, we'll then start making improvements both at both ends of the bridge to redirect the traffic onto the bridge. We'll also be putting utilities under the bridge. Right now you can see utilities exposed. The new bridge, the utilities are going to be tucked in inside the bridge. You won't see that anymore. That will, they, they'll still be there, but they will no longer be visible. At that point, we shift the traffic on over to the one half of the new bridge. We then start building the second half. We repeat the operation on the west side. And at that point, we then start demoing the old bridge, putting in the second half on there, putting in more piles in place, and then finishing that off and then by that time we'll open up the entire bridge for both pedestrian vehicles and bikes alike. Um, we anticipate it's going to take three and a half years and you should start seeing construction as early as this July in that. This is a phenomenal project and again I'm, I'm proud to be part of it, proud to be your city engineer and I'm proud to be working for this mayor. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, James. Thank you, James. That was a very detailed description. Very good. Can you please repeat that? Um, but uh, thank you. As, as, uh, as James just said, uh, very proud of the team, and that's why I really wanted to, uh, I'm glad that everybody is here. Uh, this is going to be a very major project, one that is desperately needed, and it's really going to help our traffic flow, our safety, and as the council member Zaff just said, um, our surrounding environment right around here. So thank you all for being here. Uh, each and every one of us will be available for any questions one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys. Good job, team.